welcome back to our thrifty and frugal corner of Brittany here in North West France, as you can see. I'm just about to start work now. I do not spend the day on Call of Duty or anything like that. I'm going to be spending the day six hours straight teaching today, but I'll see you afterwards. But in the meantime, go see what we did this week in our money saving March, and I'll see you later. See you for now. Well, in the spirit of miserly, meagre, money-saving March, all the M's, I'm selling my old brother's sewing machine. It was my first sewing machine. I'm sad to let him go. It works. It absolutely never skips a beat. It's brilliant. But I don't use it, so it's going. Same with this. This was my first small Ulfa cutting mat, my first rotary cutter, my first rulers. I've got bigger and better ones now. So they're going too. Marketplace March. Get it gone, get it sold, get the money in my pocket. Off they go, bye bye. And here's dinner tonight. Mushroom and chickpea stroganoff on a bed of lovely buttery cooked lentils with green beans. Masses of protein. I feel really tired. Sometimes you just think, oh, I need masses of protein. Mushroom and chickpea stroganoff. So another meal in all the food we eat for the week. This is just one of those really simple things that I love to do. It's just a tray bake. Two chicken breasts, some cauliflower, some potatoes, some onions, some carrots, some green beans, and a spoonful, about a two tablespoons of oil, and the rest is just stock cube and a bit of water. It's about halfway cooked now, and I'll put it back in the oven, but just a tray bake is all we do. That could be pork steaks cut up, it could be chicken cut up, it could be no meat at all. It could be fish that I put in literally for the last two, three minutes. But just a tray bake. And that's all we're having for dinner today. Uh, one quick tray bake dinner. Here we are, another meal of what we've eaten this week. Homemade corn tortillas, salsa-ish type of salad, on a tortilla, with garlicky cream cheese. That's lunch today. Homemade tortillas. And another in the series of everything we eat in a week tonight. We have salad niçoise. Uh, local lettuce, uh, ordinary potatoes, tin of tuna, uh, egg and a half each, and homemade dressing is three, two, one. Three parts olive oil, to one part cider vinegar, sprinkle of salt, squirt of lemon, half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Give it a shake in the jar and pour it on. Salad Niçoise for dinner tonight. So here we are, another little film in everything we eat in a week. Usually we eat leftovers for lunch. But today, as I'm working straight through, uh, without a lunch break, I always do that on a weekday. I work straight through from 10 until 2 without stopping. I will eat now. So this is leftovers for breakfast. This is leftover vegetables and potatoes. I've put in a pan without any oil. I've added a beaten egg. I've cooked it through on both sides. So it's kind of like a bubble and squeak it's leftovers for breakfast there we are not leftovers for lunch leftovers for breakfast another day of thrifty food and this is our lunch on sunday um in our local supermarket sometimes we find a pork knuckle which is basically a pig's knee really a pork's knuckle and um, it's really, really cheap, but you don't get a lot of meat off it, but it's a nice little bit of meat on a Sunday. Mashed potato, carrots, cauliflower, and pork knuckle, and of course, I'm gonna pour it on here, gravy. 
And that's Sunday lunch for today. Here's another one of our meals we eat this week. Today it is burgers with blue cheese, mayo with mustard and gherkins, and local lettuce. Quick assemble. Go on, look at me like a chef. There we go. Those of you may notice, we eat them quite blue. That's how we eat them here. Put them on the little toasted buns. There we go. Who needs McDonald's? Well, just a quick one. We went to the charity shop, Tiru Cup in Kahe, where they sell stuff that people have put into like a porter cabin in their local recycling centre, things that are too good to go into the skip, and they sell them. This is what I got. So this is kind of a sauce bowl. It's got the dish attached to it. I put something on the table like apple sauce, spoon in it, spoon can rest in it. That was 20 cents. 20 cents. Can't tell you how many times I say centimes. Do not be centimes, cents. Now, I'm a crafter, but I'm a thrifty crafter, so now I no longer ever buy new fabric. So I've got a large, funky, groovy duvet cover, duvet cover, plain green on one side, lots of yellows and greens on the other. That was two euros. I then got a lovely book. That one was two euros in English. Lots of English books in our charity shops. I then got for two euros a very good sort of Provencal style tablecloth. It's really big. It has a hole in it, so I only paid two euro. Where's the hole? There's a hole in one bit of it. But there you are. I'll be using that for making bags. It's got some holes in it. But I will use it anyway for the fabric and extract the good fabric out of it. So there we are. Two, I've spent six euros, 20 at charity shop today. Here's a bit of make do and mend this morning. If you can hear something in the background. It's my kettle bubbling away. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have a pile of fabric. Not too keen on some of it, but I'm going to do something nice with it. Cut myself out a template, found the size on Pinterest, and I'm going to make some bunting. I thought I might put it in the garden in the summer. Use up my fabric here. Bit of bunting, bit of make do and mend, bit of jolly, bit of colour. Cheer us all up. I'm in my sewing room. I've got odds and ends of fabric. Oh, I just thought I'd make a bit of bunting. Use these up. I can't really use them for much else, so make some bunting. They're all cut. Now they're pinned. Let's get sewing. Quick look at the finished product. Here is my bunting, all made. I had a few metres of red uh, bias binding tape that I got from the charity shop a while ago for maybe 10 cents and these are all just bits of fabric that weren't big enough to make into bags. It's a bit of bunting, lovely thing to, to make, you can put it up for birthdays, garden parties or just stick it up in your kitchen because it's pretty. Of all my make do amend things that I do, this is probably a bit brutally extreme for some people, but I don't waste soap. When there's only a tiny thin slither of soap, I put the soap and some warm water in a little dish that I actually use as a soap dish. And when it gets soft, I mold it all together and I keep adding it to it. So I have quite a large bar of soap now that I keep for washing my hands. Don't waste soap. Well here we are, two expectant dogs saying where is my new dog bed cover? Because they're only small I don't buy dog beds, I use old pillows. 
and old pillowcases. But I thought, well, these old pillowcases are coming to a bit of a sorry end because sometimes they scratch them. So I needed to find an alternative. It was cheap. So, right. Basically, to make a pillowcase, you just make a bag. One side, old denim jeans. And the other side, my old fleece that the zip had gone so I couldn't give it to the charity shop and it's just didn't fit me anymore. Let's put it down and see what small dog thinks of it. What do you think of that doggy? Well, that's an instant success, isn't it? Winner, make do amend, dog bed. Mary Poppet, what do you think of that? Well, by the power of the magic of ed editing, what an interesting day that was. Well, thank you very much for watching. Money saving much continues. Like I said, we can't earn any more money. We just have to save money and rein in all the spending. What's next? Austerity April? Who knows? Thanks again for watching. It's always great to have you here. Please leave a comment. You know I always reply. Thank you very much for giving it a thumbs up. It really does help. And I ask you just one thing, go on, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified of all our upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time from our money saving corner of Brittany here in Northwest France. Goodbye for now. Bye.